Hi, this is Joe McNally for Adorama TV. And in this segment, I'm gonna to talk to you about when to use a flash and when not to use a flash. Adorama TV presents Photo on the Go with Joe McNally, where you'll go behind the scenes to see how great photos are made. The picture over my shoulder is from the Hindu festival known as Thaipusam, and it's a frenzied religious festival. So I'm using a flash here, okay? I'm using a technique called flash and blur. And that means that I'm shooting at a very slow shutter speed, but I'm also freezing the action, at least partially, via the use of a hot shoe flash or a speed light. Now, you heard me just say when to use a flash, when not to use a flash, you know, and people are like, oh wait, I thought Joe McNally always uses a flash. Not the case, okay? I observe light and those quiet moments of light occasionally present themselves. Not in this instance though. I'm in the street and I'm photographing a frenzy and my response to that is to try to indicate the nature of that frenzy by using this technique, again, known as flash and blur. So the process of doing this is I'm hand holding the camera, I'm in the mix of the street. The, the festival goers are all surrounding me, okay? And this one particular subject is right here and I'm approaching him with a wide angle lens. The, the lens is zoomed to 19 millimeters. I have a trigger light or a master flash, a commander flash on my camera that's firing this way and my assistant is out there in the street with a paint pole, a KC pole adapter and a speed light box. Now, we've referenced the speed light box before. It's a Lastalite product, okay? But there's a new iteration. Historically, all these boxes had a silver interior. This is a new one, which I helped them design. And they just come out with, it's got a white interior. The light's a little softer, a little richer, a little creamier, even for a small size soft box like this. So that light, as you can see in the picture, is crossing from camera left my assistant has the light up in here, okay? The speed light box is right there. It's going this way across the festival goer's face and I'm firing away. I'm shooting at a sixth of a second at F4. I wouldn't have a prayer of anything being sharp in this instance out on that street unless I used flash. Flash in this scenario is absolutely essential. But there are other ways of going about this. Hi, Joe McNally here for Adorama. Be sure to check out Adorama's latest contest to win prizes. When I reference other ways of going about things, take a look at the picture over my shoulder now. It's a quiet moment where this little baby is having his head shaved for the trip up the mountain, which is an important part of the festival. And Flash would destroy this picture. Okay, I'm at the same ISO as I was for my flash picture, ISO 800, ISO 800, but I changed the lens up and now I become an observer, a discrete observer using a long lens from the edge of the action and quietly recording the shaving of this little baby's head who's unbelievably cute. His little expression spoke volumes to me. I was like, this is like amazing. In the midst of all this frenzy, here's this quiet moment, okay? So this is an observation where I'm not part of the mix and I'm not drawing attention to myself by using flash. In a situation like this here, okay, I am in the mix. I am jumping out there. Think of uh, this as a giant, you know, dance festival at a wedding reception or something where you're just jumping in there with all the, the celebrants and you're moving around. And the only way to sharpen that, to isolate it, to come back with a photograph is to use flash and really be kind of aggressive about the way you are part of the scene. In this, much more discreet, available light, quiet, off to the side. Two different ways of looking at the same event. So in this segment, we showed two different approaches, okay? One is a flash off-camera approach running through a small speed light box, and the other is a quiet approach using nothing but available light. So two different ways, right? Two different things to do at the same location. This is Joe McNally for Adorama TV talking about when to use flash and when not to use flash. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.